And we are rolling, rolling, rolling anytime you want to start. Good morning. I'm Cindy. We have an assistant today. This is Blitzen. He's going to join us and supervise. And, and I'm her partner in crime. I'm Cher. <laughs> we are having fun doing our crimes, aren't we? We are. And together we are Buckle, buckle Up Buttercup. Up. <laughs> Indeed we are. That's why we were having so much fun. It's random, it's spontaneous, yes. and you just never know. So what are we doing today? This is your Well, thought. We, we thought it's, it's uh, winter time. We have snow on the ground. And we're getting some more right now. Um, it's, um, we have a, a balmy high of like 27 or <laughs> something. So, we bathing suit weather. I bathing suit weather, and it's getting close to Santa's arrival. So we thought that we would make some mold wine. There's hot spiced wine, and then there's mold wine, which is also a, a hot beverage, um, and they're they're very similar. Um, the mold wine actually came from Germany, and it's called. And I know that I'm not saying this right, but I couldn't find the proper pronunciation. Um, uh, Gluween. <laughs> no, I'm not saying this right. And um, what it means is glow wine. And what it has in it is, of course, some red wine. It has oranges, cinnamon, and cloves. Those are and, and sugar, sugar and, and some water. Those are all warmed up and then you have this nice warm, um, warming drink. Um, I've I read people saying that um, when they're in Germany, there's markets all up and down the street and all of these outdoor markets have, uh, are lots of these outdoor markets have the mulled wine and that's what is permeating the, the oh, air nice. and it, they said it just, even the smell of it just makes you feel so warm. Well the wine and, with the cinnamon and the cloves and the oranges, that yeah. would be a nice citrusy and I read that it's popular after you ski or you know mm -hmm. gone hiking right. or whatever. Warms you, Warms you to the core. Yeah, the alcohol. Uh, some people put brandy in their spiced uh, wine, uh, which because they put the wine in earlier, in and um, the alcohol content uh, burns mm -hmm. off and dissipates, and so they put a little bit of brandy oh. in there to help yes. raise the alcohol content to warm you up. <laughs> so. <laughs> So anyway, we thought we would start today uh, doing the uh, mulled wine because it needs to warm for about 35 minutes. And while we're letting that warm, then we'll do something else um, that has to do with the holidays this time of the year. Yes, we will. All right. So. So I'll be your sous chef. Tell me what first. Okay, we're going to combine a three quarters of a cup of water, I could do that. three quarters of a cup of sugar, mm -hmm. uh, one cinnamon stick, okay. uh, and we're going to put that in the saucepan and bring it to a boil. Then we're going to reduce that heat to low. And then um, the second step is to cut one orange in half. I thought, oh yes, it does call for two oranges. Cut one orange in half, squeeze the orange halves over the sugar mixture to release their juice. Push five cloves into the outside of each orange peel. Place the peels into the simmering mixture and continue to simmer over the lowest heat until thick and syrupy, 20 so to 30 goes, minutes. This goes on the stove that now. That goes on the stove now. And then in the meantime, um, we'll cut these oranges in half. Um, and then when this mixture is 
finish sir, uh, simmering and getting syrupy. Then you stir the wine in and you heat just until steam starts to come off the, mm. the liquid. Nice. But you don't, don't heat it until it's not any alcohol left in there because it wouldn't warm you then. Um, then you discard the orange peels and the cinnamon stick and you ladle the drink into stoneware mugs and garnish with orange slices from the orange you haven't yet cut into. Um, one of the uh, tips that they gave was like, Cindy and I are going to do this this morning. Well, we're not going to drink the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you can let it cool and then um, put the leftover back into the wine bottle, put it in your refrigerator, and then just warm up a cup at a time oh, nice. in your microwave. So Have a supply. Right. Okay. Was there just one cinnamon stick at this point? It, they are, but you know, they're cinnamon they're little. These are very little, so I thought we would put two cinnamon sticks in. Okay, I already put one in. Oh, you already put one in. So then we will cut one of these in half. And we'll squeeze. She says that this orange will work in her lime press, but I don't well, know. Well, I would cut it one more time. Oh, oh. Cool. And then I'll do it, I'll squeeze it right into the pan. Okay, well, okay, it doesn't go in the pan yet. Oh, it doesn't go in the pan yet? Well, no. let me get you a bowl. Because that little cup is just too little. Alrighty then. Is that better? <laughs> yeah. A little better. Oh, it works. Oh, oh good. Yeah, here, put it on this oh, side. Oh, uh, I guess the it helps. The juice comes out better that way. <laughs> I always do it both ways, then turn it around and flip it. It seems to get more juice out. Flip it this way then? Yeah. So if you want to, uh -huh. why don't you put like two cloves in. Sure. And, and it says into the peel, right? So yes. Go from the outside in, do you think? That is correct. Oh yeah, because you're only supposed to do five and we'll be doing six. So. Okay. Or we can do just one in one of these. <clears throat> Whole cloves. They give such a nice aroma. Oh, yes. I used to have little girls come to my house for art lessons. And um, one of the things that we did one year was to do the clove designs <clears throat> in the oranges and put little bows and then decorate them real pretty for their moms. Oh, how fun. For, I think it was for Mother's Day. Yeah. So they could hang those in their closets. That's a nice idea. They're so crafty. <laughs> Sherry has a saying, everything is a craft until determined otherwise. A, a craft supply. A craft supply. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't matter what it is, it can be a broken pencil. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I can make that into something fabulous. Oh, I, I, I do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's fabulous or not, but I do oh, you have make a lot of talent. just about everything into something. Right now I'm working on a junk journal for a Christmas present and I'm having an awful lot of fun with that. It's my first one, so lots of experimentation going on and frustration and Glued fingers and glued fingers. <laughs> and a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. All right. There is the last quarter. 
And then the other orange is just used to slice and put in the mulled wine. A fun holiday idea. I'm glad you found this. Orange, the orange already just feels the smell so wonderful. I just citrus. Oh, it's a great smell one. of citrus any time of year is wonderful. Um, there you go. And then, uh, but especially this time of the year. Yeah. Um, I used to. I haven't done it this year, but I, uh, most of the time I'll throw some cloves and cinnamon. And water just in a pan, simmer it on the stove. Absolutely. The whole house smells yes. right, right? Yeah, yeah. That holiday smell. Yeah, and uh, around um, after Halloween, I throw bay leaves, um, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and a pot, and let it simmer, and you get that herby. Oh yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you don't do that, you really should try it. It's, it's really fun. And I also have a little crock pot that I do that in now oh, instead of on my stove. Oh, that's nice. It keeps it at a real low. It does, and I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> about forgetting it. And, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we're back rolling. Okay, we're back. We had a little technical shut off. The camera got tired of listening to me. <laughs> so Archie, the eight-year-old son of Theodore Roosevelt, decided he really liked the tree idea, and he liked it so much he thought a tree should be in the White House for oh. Christmas. So he waited until everybody was in bed, and he pulled a tree. In fact, we're going to put this picture up here, too, on, on the screen. He put one in the family's private quarters on the second floor, not on the grand public display like mm -hmm. we have now. And the president was very surprised when he got up the next morning to discover a tree decorated Aww. in the house. So, how old was his it child? Stayed that way. He was old? eight when he did oh this. Oh my gosh! He actually he went on Archibald went on to become quite a celebrated military figure yes, himself. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mr. McGilliard started quite How the tradition. interesting. Yes. So now we have four biggest tree farming states are in order. First, Oregon, especially I think around the Ashland area. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, North Carolina, Michigan, mm -hmm. and Pennsylvania. Yeah. Oh, Pennsylvania is, is uh, it surprised me a little bit, but the other, the others don't. Yeah. But yeah. Um, in 2008, the Rockefeller Center tree actually came from the Gilliards' hometown Aww. of Hamilton Township. Yeah. So that's it for the Christmas tree. Teddy Roosevelt rides again in notoriety for our holiday <laughs> traditions and things. His little son. That is amazing. Eight years old. Eight years old. Cut down a tree, dragged it in, up the stairs, and decorated it without anybody knowing it. I wonder if he had Secret Service help. Well, he had a little help. I'll bet he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A little help from White House staff. Yeah. That yeah. wouldn't own up to it. <laughs> <laughs> Until they saw how the president was gonna react. Right, right. Um, yeah. You want us to put this tree where? <laughs> In the private quarters? <laughs> okay. So, okay, so our timer went off on our wine. Alrighty, so. What's um, our next step, So we open up our wine. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. I've done this a few times. So when the mixture is finished simmering, stir in wine, and it calls for one bottle of red wine. Um, a stir in white. Uh, wine and heat until steaming, but not simmering. Three to five minutes. Discard the orange peels and cinnamon stick. Ladle into mugs 
and garnish with orange slices. So we leave the orange in there and pour the wine on top of it, right? What we take the um, uh, we take the oranges and and uh, cinnamon stick out of the and liquid after the no after we pour the wine in oh. and let it come to us and then we discard the orange in that. Okay, so I'm pouring the bottle. So in now. you're pouring that in. I will slice up some orange. This was, was this this was not 35 to 40 minutes? How long? I it was almost that long. It was about 20. Okay. Should we go a little longer? Well, we could do that. And then, uh, maybe. Okay, we are back. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. And it has come to the time when um, our we introduce the mold spices have smell wonderful. Oh. Remember, that's the sugar, water, uh, oranges, um, cinnamon stick, and cloves have been simmering, turned into a, sir a little bit of a syrup. And now Cindy is going to pour the wine, a one bottle of red wine, into the pan. The whole and it'll take between three and five minutes for the wine to warm up so that there's some steam coming off of it, but not boiling. Right. There we are, every last drop. And the orange, oranges and, and uh, um, cinnamon stick and cloves are still in there. When we're when the wine is starting to steam, then we will pull the the uh, oranges and the cinnamon stick out of there and the cloves, uh, and then we will pour ourselves a cup of mulled wine. wine. Yes, it smells wonderful. It does. It just smells so nice in here. It smells so Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> in because ours were very small and kind of old. old. And we wanted that cinnamon yeah, they, goodness. They didn't look quite as hearty as some cinnamon sticks. <laughs> That's true. So I'm just going to pour a little bit into our bugs. Yes. It's not a lot because it is morning time, but we it is. have a little taste. Yeah, the sun isn't over the yard arm yet. <laughs> And, but uh, that won't stop us from no, doing the no, taste test. No, no, Oh, I kind of turned that camera. We might be off camera right now. Let's see here. Oh, just, there we go. Here we are. Okay, hope so don't make anybody sick. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, we will let you know what we think of this mulled wine. I had a friend who used to make a uh, 
um, wassail oh, every really? year. Wow. Oh my gosh, whipped, you know, the whipped cream mm -hmm. and wine, white wine, and oh, mm. oh my heavens, that was so good. I could have just jumped in there and bathed in it. It just tasted so good. <laughs> Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And it's going to be a fun new year. And we hope you have a great new year as well. That is lovely. It is lovely. And you know, and it's not something you'd want year round. But boy. That does, it does warm me up. Warm it up all the way down. But you can taste the cloves and the citrus and the cinnamon and, and, and the wine. And the wine. Yeah. It's and it's a very balanced flavor. It is. One doesn't outperform yeah. the other. I think it was a good call to put two cinnamon sticks in. Yes, yes, because if your cinnamon sticks don't look hearty and lively, and I think you can tell. Um, then throw a couple of them in. You, I don't think you can have too much cinnamon in anything. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Cinnamon goes with mm. almost everything. Isn't that good? We forgot our orange. Are we supposed to put a... Yeah, we're supposed to have our orange in there. A garnish? Yeah. <laughs> Would you like one of the wine-soaked oranges for your garnish? Yeah, so you're supposed to put... You're supposed to... Uh, I think I cut these a little big, but oh well. Oh well. I'm just gonna take my skin off and put it in here. The rind. Mm. Nothing better than a fresh orange. Mmm. recipe up for you or a link to the recipe that we used you can find others um, this comes from uh, the all recipes site which I find that's a good one I like that site it's it's a very trustworthy it site um, people seem to give very honest opinions of of the recipes this had like 3,000 um, likes on it so <laughs> oh so it's been tested it has it's good and this was updated on December 1st 2022 so it's current That's the recipe good. is by Elsa so I will give you the link for this and uh, so you can try it out and I really like this some of them called for ginger some of them mm -hmm. called for brown sugar but those were mainly the what they called the spiced wine, wine yeah. um, which is a little bit different than the mold wine the spiced wine those usually simmered for um, on low heat or in a crock pot for like four hours or so oh my gosh yeah, yeah. This is nice because if you are having a party and people are outside throwing right. snowballs or playing snow football or something like that. Put it that, together quickly. You can have yeah. the syrup all ready and then pour the wine in when everybody starts coming in yeah. and give them little mugs of, of this and it'll warm them right up. Little mugs of this and a pillow. And a pillow. For the, for the nap. <laughs> So that's it for us today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your views. We do. And we appreciate you. We hope that you have a wonderful Christmas. Um, and safe. And safe. Be safe. Um, just like us. We're just we we're just having a, a little tiny mug so we can taste this. If you're going to be drinking, plan on not driving. 
or have somebody or a designated driver. We want everybody to be safe this, this holiday season. Mm -hmm. And um, we want you to smile and laugh and have fun and um, come back and see us again. Tell your friends about us. Share, um, subscribe, click the little bell. It'll notify you when we upload. We're not real consistent about uploading, um, but uh, the little bell will notify you when we've uploaded. Right. And... Um, well, we've been we'll doing be this back. long enough now that there are several that you can go back and see if you haven't seen the newer ones, or the older ones, when we were new to doing this. Right, right. And uh, we have one that's called um, Sex After oh, yeah. 50, Bring that 60, one back 70, in. Okay. or Beyond. And it that's has, collecting the views. <laughs> it has over 800 views now, which really shocked us. <laughs> and we find it's it easy to make humorous. us laugh. <laughs> Playmate says, well, you know, sex sells. Sex sells. <laughs> anyway, it does. have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Yes. And um, we will upload this one before Christmas. And mm -hmm. I'm, pro I'm going to try to get another one that up before Christmas mm -hmm. that we also videoed. Yeah. And um, and then we'll see you after Christmas. Um, have a happy new year. Again, be safe. But have fun. But have fun. Do lots of laughing. Lipsy says goodbye. <laughs> if you're going to fly, only fly with your angel. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.